This video is brought to you by Pass Labs, creating products that invite you to listen. Hey, I'm Andrew Gash with Audioholics. Fact of the day, everything that takes a digital signal and outputs it to something you can hear has a DAC. Yes, the almighty DAC, or digital to analog converter, is what takes the ones and zeros of your digital music and converts it into something your speakers or headphones can reproduce. But please, don't ever think that all DACs are created equal. External DACs come in all shapes and sizes. However, few are smaller than the Cambridge Audio DAC Magic XS. At $189, it undercuts the price of most external DACs on the market by anything from a few bucks to many thousands of dollars. Of course, in a tiny box, functionality is going to be a little bit limited, but not as much as you'd think. And before I go any further, it's important that you realize exactly how tiny this thing is. In fact, let me just ask a quick question. Do you see the DAC magic? Yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> well, actually, it's right here. Far. Near. This is the DAC Magic XS. Now, because you won't be able to see it until we do B-roll later, um, here's the buttons, plus, minus, for your volume, USB connection, headphone connection, little teeny light. There it is. Got it? Good. I'm going to go back there now. See ya. Okay. So, DAC Magic. Ah. Now, they really did focus on making this thing portable and universal. As I said just a moment ago, it connects to your computer via a, a USB connection, has a 3.5 millimeter output for your headphones or speakers. It just connects right there on the uh, bottom. And it illuminates when in use. It will also blink multiple times when you bottom out on the volume. And when uh, you hit the maximum volume, it'll blink red. You don't want to hit the maximum volume. While there isn't really a way to know whether you're at max volume, minimum volume, whatever, until you actually get there, uh, there are 54 levels of volume, by the way, we couldn't get anywhere close to maximum volume with any of the headphones we used with the Cambridge Audio device. Because the DAC Magic XS takes over the volume control from your Mac or PC and promises up to 10 times the output of most laptop sound cards, which makes it not only a DAC, but also a headphone amp. Pretty nifty. Now, the DAC Magic XS is compatible with both USB 1.0 and 2.0 and comes out of the box configured for 1.0. This limits your sample rate to 96 kilohertz and on our Mac locked us in at 24-bit depth. Now, if you hold down both of the buttons for five seconds, it'll switch to USB 2.0 and then you will have uh, the ability to go up to 192 kilohertz sampling and 32-bit depth. One thing I really did like about the DAC Magic is that it actually told us uh, what sampling rate we were using based on the color of the LED light. And we tested all the available sampling rates on the laptop we used, and uh, it didn't have a single problem with any of them. The DAC Magic XS was also dead quiet, no matter the volume level, and was a definite improvement over the headphone output of our laptop. It presented excellent stereo separation, uh, dynamics were uh, very well represented. Overall, the music sounded tighter and much more present, which we attributed to the considerably lower noise floor. Now, I compared it to the new Emotiva Stealth DC-1 USB DAC and headphone amplifier. The Emotiva is much more expensive, actually uh, about two and a half times the price, and the Cambridge Audio device, it held its own. Small, but powerful. Urgh. Anyway, since the DAC Magic was connected to our computer, we had full access to all of our lossless audio and high resolution files, plus, of course, lower bitrate streaming services like Pandora, YouTube. And it never had a problem. At no point did I detect any uh, hint of distortion or jitter. The DAC Magic uses an asynchronous USB clock to eliminate jitter, and it really did work. Even the low res sources like Pandora seem to have deeper bass, though no DAC can restore information lost through compression. The DAC Magic XS is small, but Cambridge Audio did not skimp on the enclosure. It is encased in a brushed aluminum uh, casing. It looks beautiful. The DAC Magic XS might be tiny, but definitely is a quality and very good looking device. And there is a short USB cable that comes with it, perfect for keeping it close by while in use. The Cambridge Audio DAC Magic XS retails for $189 and is probably the perfect stocking stuffer for your audioholic friends, so long as they actually do see it in their stocking and don't uh, just kind of glance over it or gloss over it and throw the stocking in the box for another year. And then you can go through the box and grab it and keep it for yourself. And they'll never know. 
Anyway, um, the question for the video is whether or not you're going to go for the PS4 or the Xbox One. I know it has nothing to do with the video, but hey, just want to see you get mad at somebody. So let's see how well the new YouTube comments work and let us know what the best console is in the comment section below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're at it. It'll bring us um, more opportunities to give you great video views like this. And while you're out there, like us on Facebook and Google+. Plus. We like to put a lot of info up on there, so you don't want to miss it. Of course, the obvious choice for anybody for the I new console the is going to be the PlayStation Xbox. 4. What? Seriously? Dude, the PlayStation 4 is like got everything. Dude, Xbox One can't even do... They so are going time. to be... The Wii? Wii? Shut, Shut up. up.